Hey, Dr. Mike here. Cold sores and amino acids. Stay tuned as we clear up the facts. You're listening to Live Foreverish, a show dedicated to helping you live just a little longer. Here's your hosts, Dr. Mike and Dr. Crystal Gosser. All right, welcome to Live Foreverish. Dr. Crystal, of course, is here with me. Hello. Nice to see you. In 1982, Time Magazine announced that herpes was the new scarlet letter. And of course, if you had a cold sore, you did, it kind of shamed you a little bit. Yeah. 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 I mean, right? Now, I don't remember that. Um, I guess I was only 12. How old were you? Are we going to date yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why you asked, Dr. Mike. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not sure I, why I went down that pathway. But, um, you know, you know, listen, herpes at the end of the day, there's type 1, type 2, right? There's cold sores and genital sores. Um, um, the focus today is going to be on the cold sores. There, there is no cure, right? right? But prescription drugs have helped to kind of tame it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it can prevent you from having or they can prevent you from having the outbreaks. Yeah. Or even if you feel like you're having, you know, once developing, you start feeling that tingling sensation then they can uh, prevent it from fully manifesting. Yeah. Now, before the drugs, though, it was diet that yeah. controlled it, right? We would uh, recommend a diet high in an amino acid called lysine mm -hmm. and low in arginine. So I want to talk about that. And, and can, can that type of diet, which is because of the drugs, has fallen out of favor a little bit, right? Yeah. C should we bring that back? Should we talk about... High lysine, low arginine in the context of herpes. So let's get started. Yes. Right? Number one, let's let's talk about why first uh, doctors recommend a low arginine diet. What's going on there? Well, we know that arginine is involved with, um, it's needed for the herpes virus to replicate. Right, yeah. Uh, and so there's the idea that if you can limit arginine, then the virus can't replicate and, and boom, you have no issues. You no longer <laughs> wear your scarlet letter. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's kind of as simple as that. Um, but there are kind of some flaws in that thinking. Well, th yeah, because well, you, as the nutritionist expert on, on the show, isn't it? I mean, arginine is kind of found in lots of like, how do you really eat a low arginine diet? Right. Uh, grains, nuts, all nuts. So let's just put that out there. Have so, arginine. A lot of arginine. Yes. Right, yes. And, and well, let's just back up, Dr. Mike, okay, and talk right. about what arginine is. Okay. It's an amino acid. Amino acids. Amino acids are building blocks for protein. So any food that contains protein will have arginine. So there is no such thing as eating, like eating a meal <laughs> and you're not going to get the, any arginine. The, I mean, it's, the standard American diet is going to have a lot of arginine. Well, it's just going to have arginine in general. So then when you start looking at, okay, what do you mean by limiting your arginine? Then you're wanting to look for foods or look for proteins where there's there's arginine but maybe not as much arginine or maybe there is more it's kind of jumping into the lysine business yeah um which kind of has a counter effect on the the role of arginine uh, as it relates to herpes but you're the the focus really is looking at the ratio of those two amino acids lysine and arginine and making sure your food is has more of that lysine right. versus arginine. Right. And and, and, and and at the end of the day, all of this is difficult. It is very difficult. Yeah. And it's, uh, I don't want to say impossible, but okay, you do have the foods where we say okay, they are abundant in arginine. And that would be the nuts. That would be the chocolate. So you'd have heard people anecdotal yeah. Uh, uh, accounts where they eat a bunch of chocolate, like yeah. you know Halloween time, and boom, and they get a cold sore. Yeah, yeah, that's the arginine. Yeah, you're right. So there, are, so there are. I, mean, you, I guess the best thing you can do is really take those foods that we know are really high, eliminate those, and focus on 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 foods with with more lysine. I guess. But here's one of the issues I always have when when we when we tell somebody 
a patient, a friend, a client, you know, whatever. When we tell them to to lower an important amino acid in the body, that makes me a little nervous because arginine is actually incredibly necessary for the cardiovascular system. Yes, that's the precursor to nitric oxide. Without that, you don't have vessels that work. <laughs> Very true. And I just don't like. I don't know. I don't diet. Sometimes the dietary advice. All you got to do is don't eat this. I just. What's the effect of that? I think you got to look at the whole picture, right? Yes, I think the you're right. Now we do know that arginine is conditionally essential, meaning, um, you, know, you only really need to focus on it, like a dedicated focus on eating foods high in arginine if you are recovering from an illness. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not overly concerned, but you're right. The arginine, our blood vessels need to be flexible, especially yeah. if you are active, you're an athlete, um, then you need to make sure you have uh, the arginine available to make that nitric oxide on demand. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of, again, just to, just to clarify, you know, some of the foods that you had mentioned that are high in ar- arginine that if, if you have problems with cold sores that you might want to avoid are the same foods that we have been saying in several sh- shows to eat more. Walnuts. Grains. <laughs> wal- walnuts, right? Soy. We had a whole show on soy and peanuts, legumes. Yes, yes. It's a little, t- <laughs> it's a little tough. Mm-hmm. Okay, but now, cause I'm setting up a story here. Just okay. Hold on. So we're just saying, so here, here you have a situation where arginine helps the herpes virus replicate, mm-hmm. right? At the end of the day, that's what's going on. And so it makes sense. Okay, let's, let's lower arginine, lower viral replication, and that should help. That's kind of where we're at. Mm-hmm. And so we suggest low arginine diets which as you as we now know can be tough mm-hmm. okay so now comes lysine yeah in comes into the story as a new character lysine lysine's an essential amino acid mm-hmm. right tell us why lysine is now a character in this story lysine competes with arginine and it competes with arginine on kind of the what's needed some of those proteins that's needed for uh for that virus to replicate and you find this with other amino acids that's just something that you kind of see um in the protein amino acid world uh so therefore yes the and we found that when you start researching lysine in and of itself it seems to be very helpful for for herpes or managing uh that viral replication in fact their their clinical trials have found that lysine supplementation uh help prevent outbreaks of oral herpes and reduce the severity yeah so even if you find that okay you now you have a a cold sore lesion then you can start loading up on lysine and it can maybe prevent a, a two week cold sore can turn into right. maybe one week. Right. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the timing, mm-hmm. right, of, of, of supplementation. Because that's where, that, I mean, ultimately where this story is, is heading mm-hmm. is really, in my opinion, lysine supplementation. Right. Um, lysine, did you, I know lysine also breaks down arginine, right? So it increases arginase. Yes, thank you. I was like breaks down arginine. Yes, it increases an well, it helps, enzyme. It helps to break down. Yeah, <laughs> it, it increases an enzyme that that helps to metabolize or break down arginine. I see. So so here's so here's where we're at in the story, right? Mm-hmm. You have you have cold sores. When you see it, listen, it's true. When you see somebody with a big old cold, cold sore in their lip, you what do you, what's your first reaction to that? Ooh, stay away. I mean, it is. There's some shame associated with these things, right? Yeah, unless, well, I'm, unless you understand, most people, yes, yeah. there is the shame. Like, yeah, you, yeah. because it's hard. Because we, where, where do you, when you're talking to somebody or just looking around, where do you look? Face. Mm-hmm. And if there's a big red bump, you're, you see it, you yeah. know, and I think yeah. that's part of the stigma. Yep. It's like, ooh. By the way, this is a side note. Don't kiss people's kids. <laughs> That's because you find, okay. now, and it's the aunties, yeah. it's the, you know, the family members, the relatives 
that and that's why it is more people have it just some people it manifests as the cold sore but Mm -hmm. most people have the virus yeah so or kiss the child on the forehead just don't kiss don't kiss the kids (laughs) (laughs) just don't do it no but they're so cute you just want to kiss keep your lips off babies hugs only yeah because that that is lots of candy (laughs) wait dr mike (laughs) get them all hopped up no candy all right all right so okay so so yeah so there we got the arginine thing so the diet part is really hard as a matter of fact arginine is actually very necessary Mm -hmm. for a healthy cardiovascular system it's just in my opinion a low arginine diet is just really not the best recommendation. That's just my opinion. Right. What I like to suggest is focus in on the lysine. That's, that's the, yeah. That's focus the in on the foods. Yeah. So, Dr. Mike, you'll like this. Cheese. Woohoo! Dairy products. Right? I, have, I have it here, right? Yes. Lysine is high in protein foods like dairy products, which means cheese. Cheese. All right, Robson, we're good to go there. Yogurt. <laughs> Meat, yeah. way <laughs> navy beans. I love navy beans. Beets. So I, this is your <gasps> list. You yeah. can write down Roast now. Roast it. Beets, man. Mm-hmm. That's some good eating. Fish, chicken. Yeah. Um, they contain arginine, but the ratio it's is high. more lysine yeah. than yeah. arginine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, just kind of focus in on those foods. I like that. I like that. Um, so let's just get into it then. Do we need if you have a patient, a friend, a client? And they're starting to feel that tingle. By the way, people who get these a lot, they know it's coming yeah. before you even see anything, right? Yeah. They know, oh, I, I've got that spot again, you know, whatever that may mm-hmm. be for them. Most people, I think, like you said, it's true. It tingles. Mm-hmm. Something's coming. Um, do we just focus on the food or should we add a lysine supplement? Supplementation for sure. Yeah, I, 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 agree. I am... 100 percent confident in that response that it it could be helpful not saying that it is the holy grail but we do know in research one gram up to three grams of lysine per day or even more may improve symptoms in in you know without the side effects yeah so it's it's just one of those things when you're taking it make sure you're taking the lysine as most amino acids on an empty stomach Yep. Um, and take in divided doses, and it can be helpful. Yeah. yeah and at the same time, I, I, I do think it is maybe, you know, going back to the diet real quick, mm-hmm. you know, maybe if you're going to start the lysine, that's great. Um, you, okay, maybe eat a little less chocolate. Like, like do still do some things to maybe bring down the arginine a little bit, but don't freak out about it. Right. That would be my suggestion. And, in fact, I would even go as far to say just avoid the chocolate. Yeah. During that time, just stop. Yeah, yeah, stop no the chocolate. chocolate. Maybe Up limit your, your nuts. Yep, and then just add in those lysine foods. Get your lysine supplements, and and then once you know things clear up a little bit, then you can go back to your chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> I guess then the question, um, you know, so for me, I, I know uh, if somebody starts to get that tingling feeling, that's the time to start. Right, right. Don't mm-hmm. wait. Um, you know, if if it's a full blown cold sore i mean lysine can still help but it's it's just going to be harder right so st- the minute you feel something you should start the lysine supplementation the question though that has has kind of starting to creep up is should people um should they always just take a single lysine all the time like sh- if you're prone to to cold sores should should a should a lysine supplement just be a part of your general regimen is there any evidence about peer prevention like that um i do not have that data with me in front of me right now so i can't answer that but um but i would say this if you are and again i have to just caution that this is controversial but if you take arginine as a supplement which many people do Mm -hmm. Um, they're taking it for cardiovascular support. They're taking it for uh, male sexual enhancement as well. Then it doesn't hurt to to add in some a uh, lysine as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Now, when we talk about the, the you know, there is some evidence that lysine can um, be be a, a treatment, mm-hmm. you know, for for a flare up. 
Um, that's that's not just based on one clinical trial. There there, there were several actually that right. were kind of putting all together. So the the evidence continues to mount mm-hmm. that lysine um, is is an effective treatment, safe and effective treatment for 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 cold sores. Mm-hmm. Other things you might want to try. What do you think? Lemon balm may be helpful topically. Uh, topical use of lemon balm. Uh, there is research, actually, a couple of human studies that uh, protect it against herpes simplex infection, vitamin C. Um, it, preliminary studies uh, show that vitamin C may be helpful as well. Yep. So there you go. If you're somebody who suffers from frequent cold sores or occasional cold sores don't don't worry don't be don't feel bad about it it's just a virus a a vast majority of american adults have the virus in them it's just some people you know end up with the cold sore more than others Mm -hmm. right at the end of the day so think about arginine think about lysine right um our our suggestion it's a loose suggestion is the minute you start feeling it come on lysine supplementation and avoid those foods that you know are just high in arginine like like chocolate yes and that should help maybe a little lemon balm not sure about the vitamin c yet i think that that, that that's a pilot study probably we need a little more information on that one. <laughs> I'm a fan of vitamin C, so we know it's well, not going to hurt. So I take, take it, it anyway. <laughs> I, I, I take it anyway. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, don't forget that uh, we have a nice website that you can go to, liveforeverish.com. When you're there, it's the one-two punch. <laughs> right? Yes. Do that with me. Ready? To join the it's family. The, the, no, you can, the one, you can handle punch. it. <laughs> Number one is you you give your um, email address. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I'm so punching, share your email away. address so that yeah. you can join the Live Foreverish family. Like That's that. number one. Yeah, and then number two, subscribe. Yeah, whatever, whatever, wherever you like to listen to your podcast. Mm-hmm. That's liveforeverish dot com. When you're when you go there, you're going to be amazed about how many podcasts we actually have, how many episodes. I know it's a lot. So please uh, take a look, like, share, comment. And subscribe so you never miss a show. That's liveforeverish.com. I'm Dr. Mike. Thanks for listening.